Okay, now this thing is just getting too out of hand. God! Hey guys, what's up? Ace here again, and we're doing Naruto 625 manga, The Real Dream. So we left here with Toby Rama and Hashirama standing over a Madara who's laying down and pretty much tired out, gave out, and whatnot. He get Madara from the last chapter gives him two gives Hashirama two choices to be forgiven. To either kill himself or kill his brother. And what really gets crazy here is that Hashirama had no hesitation. He just says, Oh, thank you, Madara, you're so sympathetic. And so he disarms him disarmors himself and he pulls out a kunai he's just happy that he gave him a choice that he didn't have to kill his brother and I don't know it's just, it's just, it's just, I mean they're friends yeah but then are you really that trusting to people that you're gonna go and stab yourself and kill yourself for this so apparently you know and he also gives an order to not kill Madar after he dies and then he prepares saying farewell close 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 and it's just like ting 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 so you already know the anime is gonna be boredom so like slow rock slow rock slow rock grab finally and Madara had enough strength to actually get up and say oh never mind don't do that you have guts seriously you're gonna wait till someone actually pulls out a knife and go full force and go to say, oh, I seen your guts? No dumb, man. If you didn't stop his hand, you'll be seeing his guts all over the damn place. And so that's when Senju and Uchiha actually got into alliance. Finally teamed up. They made a deal with the Fire Village, or Fire Country, my bad, and started developing Konoha. And then Harshirama also mentions that mentions the whole Hokage idea as well as putting someone as the head which is Madara he was hoping because I'm I'm seeing that he wanted to put Madara as the head of the uh, village as a sign of friendship as a sign of trust and has a sign of having everyone able to accept him rely on him be friends with him you know something like well what he wanted and then also he mentions about uh, putting his head onto, I'll get I'll get back to that. Madara still has doubts that he couldn't even protect his own brother. What more a village? But of course, uh, Hashirama denies all negativity and says, "No, you could do it. You could do it, man. Come on, come on." And then he also mentions the Saratobi clan and the Shimura clan wanted to become their allies. If you guys don't know, Saratobi is the third Hokage. And also Asuma is part of that. And of course a lot of people didn't know what Shimura was. And of course I googled it. And I find out that was Danzo's clan. So that brings up a whole twist in the matter. Because Danzo started contemplating, contemplating during his time with Saratoga. And who knew that Bandaru was the one that named the village. As hidden behind a leaf or some someone, someone, someone like that. And of course, Hashirama has his own depression issues. And <laughs> Madara still twitches like that. Then this is where Hashirama brings up the whole idea. Yeah, we'll put your face on stone on this mountain. Of course, Madara's not all keen with that. I don't blame him. Just imagine they go into detail. You get that little booger that's hanging there. Hey, I can see the first booger. Yeah, <laughs> I'm only kidding. And then Toby Rama calls in. Hashirama and starts talking to him. Toby Rama has a big ass issue against the Uchiha, regardless of their allies, friends, or Senju and Uchiha lovers somewhere around. And Toby Rama also mentions the how the Sherry Gun works and whatnot. But of course, this is the only trigger it needed for a little rustle to happen outside the door, outside the window, and they find the leaf that uh, Madara had and look what happened Mad when he picked the leaf it was whole but then all of a sudden it was cut in half for some reason oh brother that's crazy and then you have 
a meeting between Madara and Hashirama where the Yuchiha stone tablet is, which is very special. You're gonna need an Aijutsu, and you could use Sherigun, Byakugan, and Renekin. Unfortunately, they don't have the first two, and I don't think the first, uh, the Fire Village has the the Hyuga, Hyuga clan just yet. But and the first translation from the Sherigun eyes is looking for stability. One god was in, was divided into Yin and Yang. The action of the two opposing forces created all things in nature. Of course, that translates to Rikudo Senin, the Sage of the Six Paths, divided into two, which is his own sons, and so forth. You already guys know the whole storyline behind that. And in a conversation between Madara and the Hashirama, he also says there's another interpretation of the words, and this already automatically shows that Hashirama knew he was talking about and he was out there listening to their conversations. Uh, Hashirama still tries to understand him, saying, no, you're still my brother, let's keep on going. But Madara still doesn't see it that way. And he knew that if Toriyama becomes Hokage, the Uchiha will be exterminated. So he goes and contacts or tells everyone of the Uchiha clan to leave, but no one will listen. So they already have their roots settled inside the village. And then he just starts feeling, then Madara starts feeling well, evil, apparently, or very discontent, depressed, unsaddened, and not satisfied. And Madara then also said to Hashirama that maybe I should just already kill your brother. You say I'm your brother, but for the village, would you, ki would you kill me or him, which is Tobirama. And, of course, Hashirama won't kill his brother, and he won't kill his other brother. So it kind of puts him in a whole stalemate right there, right? So Madara decides to leave the village. And Hashirama still tried to stop Madara from leaving com at all, but Madara just turned evil and he says, "Why work? Walk towards my real dream. I'll enjoy fighting with you." Oh, bro. So Madara can't even just be settled with what he has. He has a village he could be with. He could has a, a brother, which is not Tobirama but Hashirama. His family, his Uchiha clan, is there settled. Couldn't he just be happy? No, he wanted to be evil. So this is where it starts building up to the climax where the Senju and Ichiha start fighting or when Madara starts fighting the fire village if I want to be specific. And it just builds up to the beginning of the history. And my guess is that if they're going all the way this far back into history to reveal all the dark spots I'm guessing the manga might be cutting it short soon but then again there's a lot of ways that this war could continue on maybe for like another 20 plus chapters like after the war and Sasuke um, climaxes but that's all I could pretty much think about anyway guys thank you for watching Naruto 625 uh, the real dream I hope you guys figure out what's going on here because I'm just about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next review. Alright guys, take it easy. Deuces.